Well, did you know 15 million Americans suffer from food allergies that can cause severe swelling, anaphylaxis that can close your windpipe, even death. But many folks who think they have food allergies don't. It may be a more manageable food intolerance caused by any number of foods. You can find out by a simple blood test. I thought I was doing everything right by changing my diet, eating better, um, and I would stay bloated. Um, I thought I had IBS uh, and, and the migraines. Freelance writer April Baker was miserable. Weight gain, headaches, fatigue, anxiety, despite following doctor's orders for exercise and diet. You may think you're eating healthy, but one in four of us have a food intolerance that we're not even aware of. So are you excited about getting this test done today? She took a simple blood test. It wasn't food allergies, but food intolerance. I was shocked. <laughs> I, was, I was absolutely shocked, like, what? Um, even to fish. I had a mild intolerance to fish. Fish and a whole lot more. Onions, avocados, garlic, tomatoes. Favorites she thought were good for her. I absolutely love garlic, onions. Uh, saute them with your chicken or beef or whatever and can't have those. Food allergies come on suddenly. Common triggers can be gluten, dairy, peanuts. Intolerance is more slow and subtle. The blood test can check you for up to 400 food items. It's so hard to pinpoint. Sometimes the companies will say, look, you've got 20 foods that are coming back that you're severely intolerant to, and we recommend that they eliminate these in a four-day rotation diet. And once you eliminate from the, this from your system, clients come in and feel so much better. Intolerance has options. An allergy does not. If you're having a mild reaction, you really necessarily don't need to remove that from the diet. With an intolerance, if you can manage it, you know, the true allergy isn't going to go away. So with the intolerance, you have the ability to, to take control of your health. Since December, April cut out some foods. She can still have her beloved cantaloupe occasionally, and it's worked wonders. It's been awesome. I've lost 10 more pounds, and I'm on the road to getting back to me. Now, the blood test and acting on its results should always be done in consultation with your doctor. That test can roughly run from $200 up to $800, depending on how extensive you want it to be. It may or may not be covered, depending on your health insurance.